road uh, to win our home ball games here with the three and three start. Um, the problem is now you come in with a, a team, Florida, I think that's number three ranked in the nation now, and it's going to be hard to get healthy at home against them. They're such a well-coached ball club and a veteran ball club, and they just really play well. So you got to be up to the task here against Florida. Questions? What sticks out to you the most when you watch them on film? <clears throat> Well, I think the biggest thing is, like, they make mistakes on the defensive end, but their rotations to cover up for those mistakes is really phenomenal. They, they make multiple rotations on defense and keep you out of the paint and cover up for any mistakes that they do make. And I think on the offensive end, it's just like their tempo of how fast they play. You know, a lot of people run a ball screen motion, but their ball screen motion is such an up-tempo and it's fast, so it's hard for you to make those defensive assignments that you need to make. I know that you're supposed to like maybe down this ball screen, up this ball screen, but the pace is coming at, it's really hard to get that done. I know you never like for Gavin to get to foul trouble, but how big of a point of emphasis is it this week with Prather and Young, those big guys in the post for them? Well, I think it's important for us any game um, because we only have one true post guy, one true back to back, uh, back to the basket player with Gavin. And what we got to work on is we've been showing Gavin here these past couple games and we'll get with film him today is that he's got to do a better job of being in position already. I, I think most of his fouls have come in these past couple of games because he is rotating late. And so when he's rotating late, he's fouls. So he needs to already be where he needs to be at so he doesn't pick up those unnecessary fouls and rotations. Talk about the kind of, I know you spoke a little bit over the weekend, but just the, the kind of boost of energy that Bear and Tevin brought in that game. I know they kind of helped y'all scrap back in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, I mean, Bear comes in, he really hasn't picked up everything yet, and it's unfair to him to throw him out there in those situations at times because he doesn't know all the offensive and defensive concepts, and that's not a detriment to him, just the fact that he got here so late. Um, but the thing that comes through with him is that he plays so hard, and so he's a physical presence in there. He doesn't, he's not afraid to put his body out there and go get a defensive rebound and go get an offensive rebound. So it's just a matter of time with him picking up what we're trying to get done on both ends of the court. How is he mixed in, like, chemistry-wise? I know it's hard to get it that quick, but, you know, just mixing in with the guys, how's that? He, he's a great kid. I mean, I, I think the thing that uh, I, I pick up from when I watch tape is, like, how interactive he is on the bench with guys coming out of the game. He's always into the game. It seems like he's a, he's a great kid. So. Uh, all my interactions with Bear have been really good so far, and I just think he's a really good kid and a really good person. He's naturally athletic, but what have you seen with him as far as mentally grasping what you what you want from him in practice and stuff like that? Well, I, I think it's hard for him at this point in time because everybody on the court knows what they're doing already. Even Travis you know, has a jump on him because he's been here a little bit longer than he has. Um, but uh, I think to Bear's uh, credit, he's tried to pick up on things as fast as he can. It's just really an unfair deal for him because all those guys have about a six-month jump on him on what we're trying to get done. With that to consider, how how much do you see him playing? Do you want to add minutes to him? or what, what, it, It's, it's hard to say. It's, it's a game-to-game -game situation. I told Bear that you know we're in a situation where we got those three post guys, and what we want to do is have him prepare to be able to play when any of those guys get in foul trouble and we only have one post guy available. So... That's the game plan right now. And, and Bear was, was great. He was like, hey, coach, I'm not trying to come here and, and be a star. I just want to come in and help the team in any way I can. I just love basketball. Regarding the apology you put on Instagram yesterday, when did you speak with uh, Marshall and Andy Kennedy? Was it after the game? Was it the next morning? He, immediately after the game. Okay. And has the SEC contacted you at all? Have you contacted them? I talked to Commissioner Slive. And what, how did that conversation go? Like Commissioner Slive always says, our conversations will always be private. I was thinking. Considering last week, I think we were in this, the same room almost the same time and we were talking about uh, how you haven't picked up any tees, you know, that's not something. How disappointing, how does something happen with that, like where you maybe lose your cool when we talked, like last week you kind of said that was one something you emphasized of not losing your cool in those situations. Yeah, well, I think it's something that one of our rules in our program is don't do anything to embarrass yourself, uh, the basketball program, um, the university or your family. And obviously I, I, I did that, so that's something I got to make sure I hold myself accountable as well too. Did you speak with your team about the situation? I haven't been with them yet. Okay. Regarding Florida, Billy, Billy has in the past like to go 94 feet with his defense. Are you seeing that that's what they're doing this year, or is he kind of doing something different with his, with his, with his team a little bit? 
No, he's doing the same thing. I just uh, got done watching a game against Tennessee, and, and then and I watched some other games, obviously. But uh, they're picking up 94 feet and doing running and jumping. They're not doing it the whole game. Um, but they're picking their spots to do it in. If they have success with it, they continue it. But he's done something different where he's done some run and jump back to actually two, three zone. Um, and that's kind of hard to do and it's something they've been successful doing. So he changes up the defense. They're actually playing some one, three, one zone defense now that they haven't played in the past. Um, but uh, I, I just think they're a phenomenal defensive team. With Fred, I know obviously you talk to him and everybody about, you know, taking smart shots. And, and you said for the most part he's done that. But it seems like he, he almost has more success with harder shots, a hand in his face or the other night, you know, shot clock going down. I mean, is it hard to explain. He seems like he, he has better success when he's got guys running at him than he is wide open. Well, I think that he always has guys running at him, it seems like to me. And I just I wish he would utilize his shot fake a little bit more. Um, I think he's had some open opportunities to make some shots, and um, I think he's done a good job of trying to decipher what the difference is between a good shot and a bad shot. The thing I like about Fred is like he doesn't have any ill intent at all. Sometimes he truly just doesn't know the difference between a good shot and a bad shot, but he's not out there trying to be uh, malicious with his shot taking. So uh, he's on. I, I just think Fred is for the team. I think he's doing everything he can. And I will say this, I thought he did a phenomenal job on Marshall. He made a couple mistakes there, but I thought for the most part, Fred chased him around and was there and didn't get screened because it's a hard job to do. IJ seems to be a little bit more quick to pull the trigger now when he has his opportunities. Yeah, and he should be because he's a guy that can make shots and he's a guy that can uh, generate offense for us. I think with any freshman, he's trying to find his way. And I think he's had two injuries here that's kind of knocked him off track a little bit. Um, but uh, I think he's going to be fine. Speaking